my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? My name's Ali, and if you're coming back, ah, oh, you look so good today. So good to see you again. Today we're doing a styling thrifted clothes video, but with a twist. If y'all don't already know, I am a huge, huge, huge music lover. And I thought that I would combine music with fashion. So today I am going to be going to my Spotify liked songs, hitting shuffle, and whatever songs come up, I have to make outfits based on the album covers. I think this will be so fun because you guys will get to see a lot of music that I like, which includes stuff like Lana Del Rey, maybe Biaba Doobie, let's hope a Deftones album comes up. But honestly, I have things from every side of the corner of music. So more than likely, out of the 10 outfits I'm gonna create, you're gonna like at least one song. Also, I'm going to create a playlist on my Spotify profile that will have all of the songs since video so that you can go jam out. And on my profile, you can also check out very niche and specific playlists that I think are top quality. But without further ado, let's get into it. Enjoy! So the song will pop up here at the album cover once I hit shuffle and we'll dress just like the album cover looks. So I'm just gonna play the first song and then I'm gonna hit shuffle. Here we go, let's hope it's not an embarrassing song. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all. Perfect first starter. We have Bulletproof Love by Pierce the Veil. Oh my gosh, this is actually such a good first song. This was like one of the most iconic songs from my preteen life. I was obsessed with this song. I still am obsessed with this song. So I'm seeing here a lot of whites and dark greens and blacks. So I'm gonna try to keep it to that. Maybe some gold jewelry for like the little gold text selfish machines. You know, add in that little touch. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so already I turned around and I looked at my dress rack and immediately what caught my eye was this dark green floral dress. It's totally giving the romantic vibe of the song while still keeping with the dark green. And I'm thinking to have the white kind of vintage look to go with it. We could put this white little sleepwear robe thing. Oh my gosh. Already I'm thinking yes. Oh my gosh. So so here's the dress with the white robe. I feel like it's so regal. Also, you can actually button this here in the front. So like that's an option too. Oh my gosh, what do you think? We need to add the gold jewelry. Okay, I added these little black and white bead earrings and then this gold bracelet. And I think now we just need to add shoes. What are we thinking? Should we do the buckle, very traditional like gothic emo boots or the tall sexy fronhaws? What are we feeling for this album cover? I couldn't decide y'all so I had to try them both on. This is still really hard. What do you guys think? Okay, see the short one of the buckles Reminds me more of like what someone who listens to Pierce the Veil would wear. But then the tall ones just, I feel like they match the regalness of the album cover. Like it's giving very like completely covered majestic vibe, if that makes sense. So let's do the tall boots. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I totally feel like the perfect representation of this album cover. We could even do the little button if we wanted. Then we're even giving the girl on the album cover vibes too. Oh my gosh. I'm so pleased with how this turned out. I breathe you in with smoke in the backyard lights. Backyard lights. <laughs> okay, let's hope we get just as good of a song in our next shuffle. This song is so good, okay? Most people probably don't know this song, but it's called Screws by Dreamers. And it was a top quality banger for me in like 2017. I listened to it on repeat. And the album cover is really pretty. It's like this purple rocket ship. Like, wow, aesthetic rocket ship. <laughs> this is how I would go to the moon. It's in style. So looking at this album cover, it's all purple and the really light slash white purple. So there's not much to do with color here, but maybe we can play with how the flames and smoke look through textures and clothing. 
Okay, so this is the only dark purple item I own, and it's a little lingerie slip. Oh my gosh, this lingerie dress is so cute! It's so perfect. But there's a problem. Uh, the bra I normally wear with it is at my mom's house, and I'm currently at my dad's. And we do want to add some texture, since this album cover has all the smoke and like the flames and the rocket ship. So I'm thinking that we do some layering to cover the tatas and give some of that interesting texture to the outfit. Okay, I'm thinking of putting this under because it matches the neckline of this lingerie slit and it's very like flowy and poofy, kind of like the smoke in the flames and the rocket ship. Bruh, I really hope this works because <laughs> I literally have to layer because I cannot have my nippies just popping out like it's summer or something. Wait a minute. This better look good. Okay, y'all. What do we think? TBH, I feel like for a starting point, it's not bad. But I'm thinking that we could add a little more jazz to it with accessories. Since this album has a rocket ship, obviously it's space vibes. So I added the star necklace and earrings. And then these white ribbons too to kind of give that like extra texture that I was talking about. I feel like it really mimics the flames coming out of the rocket ship. What do we think with the accessories? Oh my gosh. I think we already have stepped it up to like nine out of ten with just the accessories but let's finish off with the shoes okay i added these shoes i didn't have purple shoes but i felt like the fur around the top of these boots made them look very smoky and puffy i also felt like something needed to be around the waist and i was like mm, like tool but i don't have tool so i added this little mini skirt over to again give it that like texture and that floofiness but now i don't know if it's too white there is not really white in this album cover i can't tell if the flames are white or like very very light purple but it's feeling like overwhelmingly white but the texture she's there you know so what do y'all think skirt yeah. or or no skirt this one's hard because again i feel like the purple we need it in this album cover so maybe no skirt I don't know, what do y'all think? Comment below. Either way, for this being the only dark purple thing I have in my closet, I feel like we did a really good job. Okay, next song. Oh my gosh, this song, Anna Sun from Walk the Moon is such a feel good, like literally tops all the feel good, feel good songs you could possibly need in your life. This song gives 2014 house party vibes in like the best way. Like it comes on and I feel like I'm at a house party with my best friends in high school and we're like laughing, eating our snackies, having fun. And then we're all like, oh my God, let's go for a drive. So we like all pile into one car and we like turn on the music as loud as possible. This song specifically. And we're driving with the windows down, like on the freeway, like with our heads sticking out of the window, like laughing and having fun that is the vibe i get from this song and it'll also be such a fun album cover to replicate because of all the colors it's just like in your face color so let's have some fun with it okay y'all i found the two most colorful fun things in my closet and i feel like oh my god let's just put it on let's just put it on please tell me this is not giving this album cover right now. Oh my gosh. The explosion of color, especially in this skirt, is just matching it so well. And then we even have like the white background so it kind of matches like the house in the front. Let's add some accessories. Okay, I added these funky pink earrings to add to the color and craziness of the album cover as well as this gold heart necklace and my typical bracelets. Just throw as much color and fun in there as I can. And oh my gosh, this is, this is, oh, literally doing so much for me. But I'm thinking maybe we move the white ribbons. I do like them, but I'm not feeling them in the hair as much. I'm thinking they're giving like the White House vibe, bringing in more white than we currently have, but maybe like attaching them somewhere lower. What if we like tie them around here? Something like this. Is that cute? Oh my gosh. 
I have never worn this top with these bows like this. I've actually only ever worn this top once, I'm pretty sure. And it's not even a top, it's literally a scarf I found at the bins that I make into a top. Okay, does this look freaking dumb? <laughs> or does it look like the cutest thing you've ever seen? Okay, I made the bows like less big and I feel like it looks a little less dorky because I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, not sure if that's a move. But maybe this is the move? What do you guys think? Do you think it's too much? Oh my gosh, I wish you guys were in the room with me right now because I need y'all's help. Like this is... I'm so indecisive. Oh my gosh. Okay. But I kind of like it. Ooh. But do I just like it because I feel super creative and cool? Or does it like actually look good? You know what I mean? Okay, well let's keep it for now and put on shoes. Okay, I put on these pink boots to go with the crazy color. And we are done with this look. Oh my gosh. I actually think it looks so good and so accurate. And I'm deciding to keep with the bows because I feel like they really help to resemble the house and ladders on the album cover. Like the straight lines and droop of the ladder is very reminiscent of these bows. And I also just feel like really creative. So I'm gonna keep them. But overall, this is like a really fun look to make. And I'm actually like really proud of this one. So I hope y'all like it too. Okay, next song. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. One of my favorite artists, Phoebe Bridgers. I don't really talk about her that much, but I am a huge Phoebe Bridgers fan, especially of this particular album. Oh, one of the best albums of all time, literally. I've listened to all the tracks on repeat so many times, but this song is I See You by Phoebe Bridgers. This song has one of the most iconic lyrics of all time. It's if you're a piece of art, I'm standing too close. I can see the brush strokes. Strokes brush strokes and i just think that's a really cute line and a lot of people quote it but anyway this album is red black and blue so let's see what we can do with it i just realized something as i was trying to find pieces for this album i do not wear navy i do not like navy it's probably my least favorite color besides gray and i don't own any navy the only dark blue thing i own are jeans so I think we're gonna have to go the jean route. Y'all, even when I was looking through my jeans, I don't have any like dark denim. Like all my jeans are like mid-wash or light wash. So this is the only dark denim I have. And so I feel like we're gonna have to make this work. And for the red accent, I was thinking this little lingerie dress with this floral lace and then putting this black mini skirt under it but i'm not super confident about how this is gonna look well let's just put it on okay i switched out the skirt to be this more bodycon one because the other one was too long but what do we think i'm not sure if these go together Okay, I took a double take into my closet to really see if this is the only navy thing I have. And I do have this flannel. It's like blue and green, but like kind of navy. Maybe this will be a better look. What do we think? Should we do something with this? I feel like this isn't as like navy vibe, like the album cover, but does it go better with the lingerie dress? I also do have this dark-ish denim jean skirt that I was wearing at the beginning of this video. Maybe we could do this with like a red top. You know what? I feel like we're gonna stick with this because I think this is the darkest blue I have in my closet. And I think we can make it work. So in that album cover, it looks like she's on Mars or something, looking up the stars. So I was gonna do my star jewelry, but I feel like it's too white. There's literally no white at all in this album cover. So instead, I'm gonna go with my only black necklace I have at my dad's and do this little cross necklace. Okay, this necklace looks good. Again, for shoes, I'm thinking that we do these again, but I just feel like Again, the whole album is very dark and I feel like we're capturing more red than dark vibe, but like more than half of the album is black or navy. So 
to add more darkness to this outfit i feel like we gotta go with these boots i also just like really love these boots so okay how do we feel are the boots too like rock star vibe though like i feel like the patent if that's what this is called leather is just maybe it's too punk Phoebe Bridgers is like acoustic, guitar, piano, sweet, nostalgic vibe. And that's not what these boots are giving. Okay, which one? Doc or Mary Jane platform? Hmm? I feel like with this trench coat thing, the Mary Jane platforms look better. From the side, the docks look short and awkward. So let's go with the Mary Janes. Okay, this one was really hard. And I don't know if I did that well, but I'll just say that I really tried with having no navy in my closet. And for having no navy in my closet, I think I did the best I could. Okay, let's hope for something a little easier to style. Oh my gosh, this is such a good song. Palace by Bad Nerves, also kind of an underground song, uh, but it's so good. It's such good vibes. It's like in your room, like doing this move, you know? That's the vibe that this song gives. And black and pink, such fun colors to put together. So let's do it. Okay, so I started out by pulling everything I had that was like black or pink, and I found these two cute skirts. I was like, oh my gosh, one of these could be like really cute with a top. But then I saw this slip dress with black and the light pink detail that I think matches perfectly with the light pink detail lettering of the album cover. So I think we're gonna have to start with this. Oh my gosh, already I feel like it's looking so good. I think we literally can keep this black cross necklace and then maybe just add a little more jewelry and shoes. Okay, first of all, I added this little hair clip with the pink accents, like, as well as these cute little headphone earrings with the black swirl. <gasps> ah, and then this cross bracelet, which I feel like just matches the punk vibe so well. Let's do shoes. Okay, we can either do the pink go-go boot or the black punk buckled platforms. I honestly think I like the pink because of all that lettering that's in light pink. The only pink we got going on right now is like the little details in this lingerie dress. So I think we need a little more pink. So let's go with the go-go. Oh my gosh, this outfit is everything. I'm actually screaming. This outfit is like top tier. I would wear this every day if I could. And it matches the album cover so well. Oh my gosh. This was definitely a good song after how hard it was to do the Phoebe Bridgers song. And I just, I love this. I feel so cute. I'm definitely gonna like wear this in real life many a time. Hey guys, Future Alley here. And I just realized I was missing something completely vital to this look. Oh my gosh, this pink skull hat. Oh, just tops it all off now it's like truly perfect oh my gosh 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 <gasps> i would like to die in this outfit please <laughs> next song oh my gosh this song six out of ten by Dodie, is such a calm and peaceful kind of sad song but like relatable it's all about feeling like a six out of ten and i know we've all been there and sometimes you're just like yeah i do feel very mid right now and so listening to this song is very peaceful Dodie's voice is also absolutely beautiful if you've not listened to her music oh my gosh she's great this is also a very simple color palette, yellow, white, and a little tad bit of black. So let's see what we can do. Okay, I literally have like two yellow things in my closet and this is one of them, but I feel like this one is perfect because it's yellow and white plaid and there's white in the album cover. And then we also have this white girly skirt. So let's put them on. Oh my gosh, this is looking so cute and so accurate. Ooh. I love it. Let's accessorize. I added the heart necklace because again, with like the yellow tones and then the black cord also helps him to bring the little black tea tails in the album cover. And then I want to add this because of the gold and white, but I have to take my buns down to do so. So, oh. 
Uh, I think a fairy dies every time I take down my buns because they're so cute and I hate taking them out. But we have to, to get this clip in. Okay, I put the hair clip in. I hope you can see that, but I feel like it's so pretty. And the low pony is also giving like, I don't know, six out of 10 vibes, you know? Like you're having a midday and you're like low pony. And then I also added these black and white and gold earrings, literally the exact color palette of the album. And let's add a shoes. Okay, I added these white Mary Janes. I feel like they're perfect because they have this like circle buckle. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> But I feel like the circle buckle really matches the girl on the album cover's glasses, like the round glasses. And it also just, again, matches a vibe. Like I feel like Girl Next Door is Mary Jane vibe, six out of 10 vibe, etc. The only thing is they have these pink hearts and there's no pink on the album cover. But if we just stand facing front, no one's got enough. It'll be our little secret, you know? But other than that, I love this outfit. I feel like it's perfect for the album cover. It gives everything that it needs to give. Oh my gosh. I feel really cute in this. I feel like I'm gonna go to like a diner and like order a coffee and read a book. And like, I don't be reading books, but maybe I will now, you know? Next song, drum roll please. Da 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 oh this song is so cute this is yummy mama medesia i think is how you pronounce it by guitarica de la fuente i think is how you say the artist's name i love this guy his music is so beautiful i only like mid no spanish i've taken like four years of spanish in my whole life but his song just brings me like peace and makes me feel like i'm on a beach with my lover just like relaxing soaking in the sun and like stirring into each other's eyes dramatically you know like <laughs> with the ocean like crashing in the background it's just good vibes but i already have such a great idea given that there's a sun on this album cover so let's get it going so this is the only other yellow item i have in my closet and i'm actually glad i saved it for this album cover instead of the Doty one because I feel like it matches this album cover vibe so much more. Now, literally, please don't hate me for this, but the dress is very wrinkly and I'm not gonna fix that because I'm at my dad's and I don't know where his iron is and he's at work, so he can't tell me. So, it's gonna be wrinkly, but imagine that it's not. Use your imagination. And oh my gosh, this dress is perfect. It's perfect. I literally do need to iron it so I can actually wear it because I'm literally jaw dropped. And then y'all know how I mentioned the sun in this album cover? It's because I was thinking of this sun necklace. Oh my gosh. This is too gorgeous. And then with the earrings, more gold added to the outfit like Oh, so cute. And then I feel like we should keep this hair thing. Oh my gosh, I feel so pretty. Okay. Now we do have to add some black because this album cover does have black around the man, the sun. So I'm thinking we do like a little sweater thing. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. I'm sad that we lost the beautiful open back, but the black definitely makes it look more like the album. Let's finish it off with shoes. Also again, I really feel like I'm gonna get roasted for this dress not being wrinkle free. But to be honest, I said that my dad's at work and so I can't find the iron, but even more concerning is that the sun is literally going down. It's almost about to be sunset and I'm trying to get as many outfits as possible in for y'all. So I don't have the time to search for his iron. So that's honestly the real reason. So just please don't roast me. I'm sorry guys. But what do we think? Is this cute? I actually feel like really pretty, like, I'm making myself blush, but really I do feel so gorgeous in this and I feel like it really really matches this album cover super well So yeah, I'm proud of it. I think it looks pretty and I'm sorry it's wrinkled. Okay, next song
Oh my gosh, yes, Her by Poppy. Poppy is such a good, I don't even know what genre, but like pop metal, I feel like, or something, pop rock. I don't know, but I love her stuff. It's so girly, yet like punk. And this song gives me such like girl rock band. Like I'm at like a little underground concert and it's kind of giving like 10 things I hate about you cat. Like maybe she would listen to her cause she's like, ugh. You know, like you just go to this like underground like dive bar with like only girls there and it's like all the feminists in like one room and you're just vibing, yes. But this is a really simple black and white with lots of like geometric patterns. So let's see what we can do. Like I said, in my head, I'm thinking geometric with all the squares everywhere. So my eye was immediately drawn to this corset because it has like those geometric lines as well as like this white top to go under it with the lines. And then I'm thinking this black and white faces skirt even though there's not a bunch of faces on the album cover I do really like the black and white and then we still have the woman on the cover so this could be like fun okay what are we thinking I do really like all the geometricness going up here on the top the skirt I'm not as sure about I do feel like there's too much black in this outfit compared to the album which is mostly white but i don't have like a white mini skirt oh wait okay i'm layering a lingerie slip dress under this top and corset and this is so much more yes this is yes yes let's accessorize okay i added these headphone earrings again they're totally perfect especially with like the mesmerizing bead here it's very much giving the album cover and then oh i need to take this off but the star necklace you cannot tell me there would be any better shoes than these oh my gosh this outfit is insane and perfect oh this is another outfit i would 100 million 10 percent wear outside of the house and be extremely obsessed like Oh my gosh, I feel like this looks so good with the colors, mostly white, a little bit of black, and the whole geometric vibe and everything. I'm just I'm so proud of myself. I love this. Okay, we have two more outfits to do, so let's hope for one of my like top artists. I'm really hoping for like Lana or Fleetwood Mac or Deftones. Those are like my top three artists right now. So I'm surprised I haven't even gotten one of those yet. But let's hope. See, it was bound to happen. I just can't believe it actually happened. But this is perfect Say Yes to Heaven by Lana Del Rey. I think it's literally her number one song right now because it's trending on TikTok. But it's such a beautiful song that she just released. It had been unreleased for a long time. And it's so beautiful y'all lana just makes me feel so at peace and so like expensive and like beautiful and majestic so this is gonna be super exciting one this one was a little hard at first because it's just like her on the album cover and it's like all white and then it looks like she's maybe sitting in like a blue chair but i'm thinking of doing this white maxi very like beachy dress because the album looks very airy like she's in this airy long sleeve white shirt maybe she's like in a beach house it's kind of like the vibes from like the sheer curtains and the color palette so i thought this dress could work and then we'll add this vest to kind of match that blue of the chair she's sitting in okay y'all do we like this vest or do we think this vest would be better i kind of like being able to see the cinch of the waist and i feel like that vest is kind of blocking that so what if we had this one but i feel like this one has to be buttoned at the same time because that kind of looks weird and it's just like open and flouncing around so like this which do y'all think matches the vibe more kind of like being able to see more of the dress so i like that this one you can leave unbuttoned but i don't know like does it make me lose shape and is that like a bad thing hmm. okay after staring at myself in the mirror for like 10 minutes i feel like we should go with this one because the other one being buttoned is like too much blue you know we need to focus on the white for jewelry i'm gonna keep the star necklace but swap out the star earrings for these little hearts. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have these denim boots. Maybe we can do these instead of the vest as our little piece of like blue 
in the outfit. Oh my gosh, and then maybe we like lose the vest. Oh my gosh, what do we think? Huh? Huh? Honestly, I think the vest grew on me, but I just want to do the shoes and I want to add this beige long sleeve instead of the vest because she has long sleeves, so I might as well have long sleeves. But do the beige and the white collab? <laughs> Am I like going a little loony because I've been doing so many outfits that I cannot make good judgments or is this actually cute? I don't know. I feel like it's cute. I could also do it more like her and actually have the like work button up. Maybe this is like more matchy match. Yeah, I think that this is cute actually. Oh my gosh, wait, Lana vibes, hello? I don't know, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if I should have gone for best. Wait, maybe we can do both. What do you guys think? Am I doing too much now? Am I just overdoing it? Or wait, is this the move guys? Have we finally made it? to the final look. Okay, I literally just watched that clip back and I feel like it's not the move to have both the vest and the long sleeve. Like, I don't know. I feel like I look too like covered up vibe and not in a cute way. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. So I feel like we should just go with the long sleeve and the denim boot. So this is now actually the final look for this album cover but again please let me know what you think because this is a hard one for me okay the sun is really going down so let's finish with our last song oh my gosh this song is so cute guys it's cupid the twin version sped up by i think the k-pop group is twice but oh my gosh this has been one of my on repeat songs because it's literally so so cute i really like this album cover but this isn't the original artist because it is it's like sped up version so this is the actual i'll put a picture but this is the actual album of twice and so I want to go based off of that one and so we have like pink majority and then a little purple a little yellow and the white little baby cupid in the middle so let's do what it do and make a cute fit okay I have two pink lingerie slips that I feel like would go really well with this album but I don't know which pink because like in the bottom corner of this album cover we have like the darker pink but then in the middle we have kind of like this lighter pink so Okay, I went with the light pink because I feel like it'll go better with this pink robe. Oh my gosh, the pink robe is amazing. Now for jewelry, the whole song is Cupid and we got our little baby Cupid with its arrow. So I'm gonna keep my heart earrings in and add this heart necklace. And I also think this necklace is perfect because of the yellow tone it is. It'll bring in that yellow in the album cover. Yes! Oh. Very, very nice. I love that. Now we just need our shoes and I feel like it's a no-brainer. I lied. It's not a no-brainer. <laughs> I actually have either my pink go, go boots or my white with the hearts, but okay, actually it's a no-brainer. <laughs> We're gonna do these. Oh my gosh, look how cute these little heart Mary Janes. I love this. I think it's so cute. Wait. Had to add the little cute hair clip. Ah, now the outfit is truly done. And oh my gosh, I feel like this is such a good one to end on. It's so extra, so good. Oh, I just feel so cute, like I'm ready to be cupified. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I think this was one of my favorite videos to ever film because I love music. So getting to share my music with y'all was so, so fun. And I hope you really liked the outfits. If you made it this far, comment a music note emoji because obviously music. If y'all want to see what I'm doing on a daily basis and or get more fashion inspo, you can follow my socials here. Shop My Depop here. Also, don't forget to check out that Spotify playlist that includes all the songs from this video as well as a lot of other amazing playlists I have. My Spotify will be right here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all are amazing. I love y'all so much and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.